What's going on everybody? Cody from Bass Bullies TV here and welcome back to another episode and today we're going to talk about hollow body frogs and particular tips and ways that you guys can catch more and bigger bass. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is the way I store them. I just got them in a you know, regular uh, 3700 size tackle box. I use Flame Bureau just because they have the Z-Rust technology in them. But if I open this up, you guys can probably see this. It's like there's all kind of powder in it and that's baby powder. And the reason I use baby powder, is it helps keep the uh, rubber legs from melting and sticking together on those hot summer days. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't really affect the bait at all. You just throw it out there one time and it washes all the baby powder away. Okay, the first tip I'm going to give you guys is for better hookup ratio. As you guys can see, this hollow body frogs, uh, the hook, they don't really go above them. As you guys can see right there, they don't really go above them. And if you run your finger across it, it's just going to run right across it. So what, to fix that, what you need to do is you grab some needle nose pliers and you bend that hook up just a tad bit. Now as you guys can see, it's a little bit higher. If I run my finger across it, it actually sticks to it. You don't want out too much because it will get a lot more grass on it and you know you don't want to be hanging up on grass as much whenever you're fishing this weedless frog and that's what it's designed for is over grass mats. Now the next tip I got for you guys is to trim these legs. Now I don't like trimming too much off of them but in order to get the proper action out of walking the frog, you need to trim one leg just a little bit shorter than the other. You guys can see right here that these are both pretty much the same. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take about half to three quarters of an inch off of another one. And as you guys can see, I got one shorter than the other. And what that does is it's just going to be able to walk the frog a little bit easier and maybe entice that bigger than the average bite. And to help get that walking action, I highly suggest a tying a loop knot on your hollow body frogs or any walking style bait that you throw on top water and possibly even a jerk bait because it'll, it'll let the bait do what it's designed to do. A lot better action and it just lets it move and have a lot more range of motion whenever you are, are working that bait. And then the last tip I have for you guys includes these little glass plastic beads. I prefer glass beads because they make a lot more noise but any bead will work as long as it can make a noise. And I usually throw about three or four of them inside my frog. Now as you all may or may not know, that little weighted tab right there, it can actually be removed and you can throw these little plastic beads right here inside your frog. Now what you gotta do is just basically turn your frog, get it out of the hook, and you just basically squeeze that little weighted tab out. And there you go. Basically all you do, you drop two, three, maybe even four of those little beads in there. I prefer three to four. You just throw them in there. You take your little tab, you put it back in there, and you turn your hook back around. Now, one thing I do prefer, especially if you uh, if you all have multiple frogs, like two of the same color, glue, super glue that little tab back on. It'll it'll save you a lot of money from losing those tabs and losing these beads. And and basically, basically whenever you lose that tab or that little weight. The frog's useless. But as you all can hear, it has a rattle to it now. So, those are some of the tips I have for you guys. Uh, for better hookup ratio, just bend the hooks out for uh, and to make it walk better, trim one side of the legs a little bit shorter, about three quarters of an inch or so. And uh, tie a loop knot, it'll help you walk the frog a lot better. And last but not least, throw some beads in the belly of it. Make it some, give it some rattle and things of that nature. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this tip, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. Check out all my links down below, all my partners' links down below. And until next time, catch on big.